we are asked to perform the indicated operation. Because a fraction bar represents division, we will perform synthetic division for this example. Let's first take a look at the numerator, which is the dividend. We have 2x to the fourth minus 5x cubed minus 6x squared plus 7. Notice how there is no x term in the dividend, and we need one, and therefore we will include a 0x term. Let's rewrite the dividend as 2x to the fourth minus 5x cubed minus 6x squared plus 0x plus 7. When performing synthetic division, if there are any missing terms in descending order, we do want to include zero terms. Because when performing synthetic division, we are going to use the coefficients of the terms as well as the constant. Which means for synthetic division, we will be using two, negative five, negative six, zero, and seven. We do need the zero to perform synthetic division properly. Notice the divisor is x minus three. When performing synthetic division, we need the value of k when the divisor is in the form of x minus k. And because we already have subtraction here, to perform synthetic division, k is positive three. Let's set up the table to perform synthetic division. We first list the coefficients in the constant term of the dividend, which again are two, negative five, negative six, zero, and seven. And then we have the table. To the left of the table, we place the value of k, where again k is found by having the divisor in the form of x minus k, so k is positive three. So because we have x minus three, k is positive three. If the divisor was x plus three, k would be negative three. And now to complete the table and perform synthetic division, the vertical pattern is to add the terms, the diagonal pattern is to multiply by k. So to begin, we bring the two down, and now the diagonal pattern is to multiply by k, which gives us two times three, which is six. And then we add vertically. Negative five plus six is positive one. Again, the diagonal pattern is to multiply by k. One times three is three. And then we add. Negative six plus three is negative three. And now we multiply by k or multiply by three. Negative three times three is negative nine. Add vertically. Zero plus negative nine is negative nine. Multiply by k, which again is three. Negative nine times three is negative 27. And finally we add vertically. Seven plus negative 27 is negative 20. This last row gives us the result of the division. And because we have a degree four polynomial divided by a degree one polynomial, because four minus one is equal to three, the result is a degree three polynomial. Starting from left to right, this means the quotient is two x to the third plus one x squared minus three x minus nine, and the negative 20 is the remainder. And there are a couple ways to express the final answer. The most common way would be to write, would be to write the quotient, which again is two x cubed plus x squared minus three x minus nine. And then because the remainder is negative 20, we write minus 20 over the divisor of x minus three. If the remainder was positive, we would have addition here rather than subtraction. Another possible way to write the result is again to write the quotient of two x cubed plus x squared minus three x minus nine. And then because the remainder is negative 20, just to put r for remainder is negative 20. So just be sure that you give the answer in the requested form. But again, this first form here is probably the most common. I hope you found this helpful.